everyone, welcome. Can you believe it's Monday already? Why do I look so high? Let me, let me put this down a little for you. I'm sure you don't want to be seeing all wall space. It's probably better. Say hey when you jump on. I cannot believe it's Monday already, guys. How does that happen? Fall is in the air. Not really. It's like 104 degrees right now. But fall is in the air. All right, I'll wait a couple of minutes. It's Monday, so we have a little bit of housekeeping to do. Hey guys, welcome, welcome. Hi Angie, how are you? Ah, I actually got really organized today. I was crazy last week. I had so many things that I was shipping out and I had the shower that I was finishing up for. It was a crazy week last week. So, hey, Laura, how are you? Hi, Connie, how are you? You're, that doesn't surprise me, Connie. Everybody's busy. Everybody's busy. How you been, Laura? Yes, I am live. No, I just saw you put replay. <laughs> Usually you do catch you on the replay. That's that's funny. Hey, Charles. Thanks for joining. Welcome, welcome. Come on in, everybody. We're going to do a couple of projects tonight. Lavonda, welcome. Thanks for hanging with us. We'll just give it a couple more minutes, guys. Just woke up from a nap. Every so often, you need a good nap. I actually, well, let me reel this back in. I thought I was going to take a great nap yesterday, but then um, didn't happen. Because I still have family in town, so we did fun things. You are? What is, what is the time change there? How long are you there for? How is she? Hey, Mel. How, how is she? How are you? All right, guys. Um, because it's Monday, let's just do a little bit of housekeeping, and then we'll start our projects, okay? So this is the transfer. If you're in my pillar stand club, this is the transfer that you all voted on um so if you're go going to join us this month go ahead and order it by t the end of the day today tonight um i do need to get your free embellishments going because i'm leaving for vacation so and we always do it on the 21st of the month but I, this month we're probably gonna have to do it on the 22nd or 23rd because i don't get back until the 21st but in order for me to get the embellishments out to you, I need you to go ahead and order the transfer. All the information is over in our Pillar Stand Club, so just hop on over there. Um, remember, all you need is the transfer, okay? An hour behind. Ooh, what kind of dog? Um, so if you're gonna join us, please, please, please go ahead and order that um, by tonight, okay? because I do have to work on those tomorrow. Um, because I have to turn around, get them ready, and ship them to you prior to me leaving on the 7th. So that's why it's kind of like a quick turnaround this time, okay? Hi, Debbie, how are you? 
Oh, yes. Yes. I know. It has been crazy. And, you know, we've actually had really good weather heat-wise. And I guess it's supposed to be like 10 days of this over 100 degrees. Um, and my niece Patricia had um, a bunch of her in-laws in town. They flew out to Dallas, and they're all from the Boston area. Um, so it was a little hot for them, too. Um, they weren't used to it. But they went horseback riding in the heat, so it didn't... It, probably didn't bother them as much as you would think, right? Oh, and there's got to be a good name. There's got to be a cute name, right? And all right. And I just posted this guys. Look what I just got in the mail. So this is our club for next month. This is August, the August club couture. Okay. So if you are in Club Couture, this is the transfer that you're going to get for August. Um, remember, if you are still on, if you're still interested in joining Chalk Couture and loved the cherry transfer from July, there's still time to get that. If you join by July 31st, you will still get the cherries, okay? And then this will be your your August transfer. So your subscription. We'll start with that first transfer, and then this would become your second one then. It comes up, um, you know, it changes every single month. So um, a lot of people like those cherries, so there is still time to get the cherries. So if you join by July 31st, you'll get that transfer, and then you'll automatically start getting your transfer monthly, and I'll start with that one. It's really cute. Let me tell you what the name of it is. It is Wicked Cute Ario. oh my God. That's so cute. The actual name is Kitchen Rules. And I just think this, so there's so much on this transfer. Like we are gonna break this apart, um, even though it's Kitchen Rules. And I mean, look at that rooster. There's so much goodness on this transfer. I'm so excited about it. All right. So I think, believe it or not, that is all Monday's housekeeping. Um, I did want to let you know, I'm actually going to use one of the signs we made. If you're interested, we still have these kits available. There's a few left. Okay. Head on over to the VIP lounge to get the links to buy the kits. There's four different ones. So we, and each comes with its own guide. Okay. How to guide. And everything you see is included in the kit. So the first one is, hello, pumpkin. Hey, Marilyn. And the next one, you said that right off the bat, Angie, is gather and gobble. Hey, Debbie. Hey, Debbie, two Debbies in a row. Um, fall is in the air. All right, so I have used this transfer I th four or five times already. I'm going to use it again tonight. So fall is in the air. And then the fourth kit was gratitude. Okay. So everything you see on these boards are included in the kits. Um, remember, there's, the quantity is limited and one of them has already sold out. So if you're interested in purchasing a kit, head on over to the VIP lounge, okay? If you're not a VIP men member, just put VIP with your email and I'll send you a link. We can't automatically add people. Facebook doesn't allow us to do that anymore. So either message me your email or um, put it in the comments and I'll send you a link to the VIP lounge, okay? All right, and this is how the kits come. So everything's included. If you got glitter, do whatever it is, it's all included, okay? All right, so let me explain what we're gonna do tonight, guys. Um, this is our palette, okay? I have worked with this so, so many times. It is really one of my favorite boards for making trays. Um, 
you know, I do put usually C size transfers on it or larger. Um, tonight we're going to use uh, E size transfer, but we're going to break it down. We're not going to do the whole thing. Um, you know, we still have these available. They're 12 by 18. Now they come this gray color, but I went ahead and I already painted this a little bit ago, about an hour ago, just so it would dry. So we wouldn't have to sit here and wait for it to dry. So if you've never seen our reclaimed boards, they, they're on the diagonal. They're double-sided, so you can use both sides, okay? This is the flat side, and it comes in that gray color, okay? And then this has like that little enclave in it, okay? So I went ahead and I painted this side, and I am going to sand it down a little, buff it out a little. We're gonna make it look a little distressed, not crazy, all right? And I did the same for, I actually put um, a, a, one of our gray, uh, linen, it was linen. I put a uh, linen color on the tag and then I painted white over it so it would almost have the same type of coloring as the board. So we, let's go ahead and just distress these a little. Um, for this board, I used the Folk uh, Cottage White chalk paint chalk paint not paste chalk paint okay and again i will list all these ingredients when i'm done tonight um in case you guys want to go shopping all right any questions so far all right give me a second let's go ahead and i sometimes i wish i could just do this ahead of time but i get a lot of comments that you all like to see how this is done too. this all the time you do not have to have a palm sander okay to do this you absolutely do not you can have you can sand with your little sand block okay I've had that so it makes it easy for me to do it um, but don't feel that you need to go out and buy any kind of sander seriously you don't have to hey Sherry how are you thank you so much for sharing I really appreciate it. If you do share this video, your name goes on the big spin wheel and you will receive a gift from me at the end of the month. I do periodically um, look at all the shares and send surprise mail during the month too.
you, Deb. Thank you very much. All right, guys. Because we have sanded this down, I'm and I'm using a brand new transfer. I am going to go ahead and put some wax on it, okay? And what kind of wax are we going to use? This is when I like to give happy meal, happy meals, happy mail. When I ask a question and then I get the right answer. Oh, thank you, Sherry. You know what? First of all, it was a labor of love, truly. Um, she's a very special niece. Um, she used to live with me when she came out here to go to school. Um, and then my sister ended up moving out here and um, then she married Tim and now she's in Florida. He's in the Air Force. So my gosh, I just love her so much. We are using that, what, no, mm -hmm, no, Sherry, it's not really clear wax. Hi, Debbie. Hey, Geraldine, how are you? All right, so I know somebody knows what kind of wax I'm using because mostly all my customers are using it. So let me know who's gonna cast right. And I'm just doing a very fine coat, okay? You don't have to use a lot. And again, it's only because I'm using a brand new transfer and I don't want it to stick. Yes! Debsy, correct. My favorite wax, Chalk Teak. And it's from Amazon, yes. <laughs> yep. So if you are a customer of mine, and you have been watching for all these years, you know this is pretty much the only wax that I use. Um, I love it, it's non-toxic, it has a great smell to it, and it's it works awesome. And I would say 90% of my customers use this wax. <laughs> it, it Well, it's a little yellowish, and it, it goes on very light color. There is a little yellow hue to it, but you really can't see it. All right. So kind of just like wax on, wax off. And the other thing, you all, and I tell you this all the time, you all know how much I use this, right? This is only my second jaw in over three years. So a little goes a long way and it's not expensive. Yep. So if you need the link to this, let me know and I will post it over in the VIP lounge too, okay? You swear by it, I do, Connie. It's the only wax I use and I, I love the smell of it. Okay, we are going to use, like I said, we're gonna use an E-size transfer tonight. Um, Obviously, it's not going to fit this tray. We're going to use pieces of it. So this is just another great transfer. It's called Harvest Festival. It is an E-size transfer, which is our biggest size, okay? Um, now, when I use transfers like this and use it in pieces, I will go ahead and cut the pieces I'm going to use. Um... For this size, I usually don't worry about it staying on the backer all in one piece because if anything, I'll do this one time as a whole, but then I'll always use the pieces for other projects, okay? Okay, so let's go ahead and get this ready. Oh, I'm not sure if I showed you. So this is it after sanding it a little. So if you notice, I do it very distressed looking, okay? Hey, Kelsey, thank you. How's your house? Are you all unpacked yet? Every time you think, oh my gosh, I'm all done, 20 more boxes show up somehow.
these are our transfer scissors. They're awesome, they're silicone. They work awesome with our transfers. Just kind of like glide right across. So I'm gonna be using, I'll show you what I'm gonna use in a second. And this transfer too has registration marks if you wanted to you know, somehow match it up. I keep the flow going. If you end up cutting it. A lot of people do cut the larger transfers up. They're a little intimidated working with the larger transfer, so the registration marks really do help. All right, this is the part I'm not using tonight. But how cute is this? You know we're gonna use this, right? All right, so I'm not using that. I am gonna use the bottom piece. And look at that wagon. Is that not the cutest? That's what I'm gonna do first. All right, so before I decide how I'm gonna do it, yeah, I'm gonna put this on the top. Okay, so again, brand new transfer. I have never used this. So even though I waxed, I am going to go ahead and get some lint on the back of it, okay? And that really is just gonna help me pull it up, okay? These are reusable transfers. You can reuse them up to 15 times. And all you need to do is wash them with water. I have plenty of videos of me washing these. This is a little, maybe I'll wash this tonight and show you how. I usually wash them in my sink. Um, if they're smaller, you can just spray them. So I'm gonna put this going this way. So I think I want the wagon. Maybe. Give it a little attitude maybe. Give it a little attitude and have it go sideways a little bit. Okay, and even though this is so small, I'm gonna use different colors on it, okay? Let me lower that just a little so I don't knock off the stem. So the fact that you have that many tumblers to do, Kelsey, that's amazing. Good for you. If anybody needs tumblers, hit Kelsey up. All right. So because I'm going to be doing this different colors, I'm going to go ahead and tape this off just while I do the pumpkins so I don't get any of the... orange or green on any of the white. And then we'll peel that off and do the rest in brown. So I'm bringing out the pumpkin shimmer, guys. It's the first time we're using it. All right, so I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna use green and I'm gonna use bark, okay? And then I'm gonna take these colors over and use it in the tray as well. So these I'm gonna do pesto, and I'm gonna do that orange. And this is the beauty. Remember I said I'm always, or not now, I mean I did it a lot in the beginning. I cut down my bigger squeegees so they're tiny to get these little, the little embellishing on the transfers. Okay. Look at that pumpkin. 
pumpkin spice. Well, it's pumpkin, shimmer pumpkin actually. But it's one of our new colors for the fall. And I'm not gonna worry about the stems. I'm gonna do those in orange too, just because they're so tiny. Now, of course, you can do this all one color. But I thought tonight it would be fun to do it in, in several colors. Uh, pesto. We're going to use pesto for the leaves. All right. And then I'm gonna pull it up and then we'll use Bach. My Bach is drying out. I did order some new Bach. Okay, I'm gonna pull this tape up. I'm gonna do it all in bark. They give you a little bit of room, not much. And you know, if you ever have an oopsie when you're doing something like this and you can't um, clean it off, you can always make this look a little distressed too by you know using your sanding block or your nail file, right? And because I sanded the this tag, um, it's not going to be you know perfection anyways. So take advantage of it. Okay, let me pull this up. And it is beautiful. You know what, I'm gonna show you all how to wash this scene. it's a small piece. Let me bring that up there to show you. And you'll see why I put that tape on it. Doreen, how are you? Thanks, Marilyn. Look at that pumpkin shimmer. Oh, you know what I just realized? I can see comments tonight. Right, when did I last go live? Friday? I couldn't see, remember? There were no comments. All right. Oh, you know what? I'm using all these colors. Let me leave them open. Okay, let me show you, if you're new watching, how I wash a transfer. Like I said, I usually always do this in my sink, but let me show you how easy it is. So, you just want to wash or wet the transfer, okay? We have sponges that are awesome. You can use a sponge, you can use a rag. Um, I will use wet wipes. The only kind of wet wipe that you can't use is a baby wipe, and that's because of the oil, okay? So this is how easy this is. Hi, Kim, how are you? All right, and then I just kind of wipe it off with a wet wipe. And that's it. You dry it, sticky side up, and I usually tell people you can get up to 15 uses with each transfer so long as you care for them. Um, something small like this, I'll get many more uses.
and then you're gonna put it back on the backing when it's completely dry, and that takes about an hour or so, okay? All right, let's do our tray. Any questions? So, we're gonna make a tray tonight, Kim, and then we're gonna make a basket. All right, so let's go back to our tray. And we've already put the wax on it. So we've painted it a chalk paint. I distressed it by buffing it. And now I'm gonna put this down. I wonder if I, I know that one's too big. I'm gonna stick with this one, but I think, I think I'm gonna do the arrow higher and then peel it up just to make it look like it's spread out a little bit more. So let's go ahead and do the arrow pot. Now you don't have to do this. You can just put the transfer down and never pull it up until you're done. But I'm, I just wanna make the area look bigger. All right, so even though I waxed, I'm still gonna go ahead and get some lint on the back. Guys, everybody I know is already making all the Christmas stuff, and when I see it, I wanna make it. I did a, something a little bit. I um, posted it, but um, because I have to do pre-made videos. But I really, there's so many gorgeous um, fall transfers that I feel like I really need to do the fall and the Halloween. <laughs> I don't wanna skip right over it. I have a funny feeling next month's Pillar Stand Club will be the spooky transfer though. All right. So like I said, I'm gonna place this higher and then I'm gonna take it off and then we'll reposition it. Just so it gives me a little more balance. So you wanna make sure you have all those air bubbles out. And that way there's no bubbles underneath when you pull it up. All right, let's go ahead and do the brown or the bark. But this is still the old formula, the new bark. I ordered will be the new formula. And you know, if you don't want to coat this entirely because we've distressed it, you know, you can push this through and leave some white openings if you want, and it'll give it even more of a distressed look. Okay, and then let's just squeegee up the excess. I'm gonna do the other lines in brown as well, but because I'm repositioning it, I can't do it right now. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this up then we'll dry it and then we'll place it back down. I don't know if that's burned or... Let's see. Oh. Okay, I went off just a little bit. That's why it's good to have the wet wipes around. Okay, let me dry this. You're not doing Christmas Eve, I know. 
All right, and so remember, I've already waxed this, so I don't, you know what, let me actually use my blow dryer on Coolia, because I don't want the wax to melt. Now I'm not going to try and line, I'm not going to line it up because remember I did that to give it some distance anyways. I think there was something on this board from when I painted it. Okay. So let's go ahead. This is where I'm gonna want it. I don't think that's good. Maybe just a little higher. So what I'm doing is, see how higher this arrow is? So I'm, I'm just replacing or doing a different placement on this just to kind of elongate it, okay? And I'm gonna get all the bubbles out. And we're gonna do this different colors. So, for corn maize, we're gonna use Shimmer Harvest, okay? For the lines, we're gonna use the bark. Side of produce, we're going to use current jam. Nope. For, hold on. Hot cider, we're using current jam. For produce, we're going to use the shimmer pumpkin again. That's what we're going to do. And then for hay rides, we're gonna do pesto. So you always gotta throw some pesto in, right? All right. I'm gonna do the brown lines last because that is our, um, it's not the new formula, so I don't want it to dry out. Like that, and then the pesto. Okay. I think we're ready. You know, I say it every time I use it. 
I love our shimmers. So they go on a little grainy, okay? And that's because of the glitter shimmer in them. Um, you don't have to work as fast. Although the new formula, I'm gonna have to stop saying that because with our new formula paste, you have plenty of time now. All right, so we're gonna come back to this and then do this. Again, you can do this all one color if you wanted to. Produce. We're going to do the orange. This is going to look awesome for Halloween stuff, too. It's just that right color. Up pesto. Marilyn, is it quiet without Terry around? Let's do these brown lines. And the beauty of this transfer is it does have a vintage vibe to it. So if you're using it, you'll notice that there's some white spacing that um, the paste isn't gonna go through, so it will give it that vintage look. And I'm just putting this transfer in a water bath until I can go put it in the sink. She's having a great time. She does look like she's having an awesome time. <laughs> she's like hitting all the spots. All right, we're not done, guys. 
I could even put another I just might hold on I want to put some of these here I just had a great idea all right I'm actually going to add some of those little green leaves up the top. Let me dry this. That way I'll have green at the bottom, pesto at the bottom and pesto at the top. Kim, everybody can do this. It's not just me. to fix it. I always say that. I always tell everybody let it dry and then go back and fix it and I never listen to myself. You love a good reveal. Doreen, you're um porch leaner, double-sided. Doreen, you are in a category all in your own girlfriend. The way your mind works, your creative mind. You've always been that way too. Okay, what do I always say? I'm gonna notice it, nobody else is gonna notice it. This is just um, rubbing alcohol. Just trying to get that. Like, I can't even see this, guys. I don't know why I do this. Wait, let me, but I do want to do one thing here. Hold on. Oh. You're so funny. Um. I just did, I just, um, I actually trained a group this morning and, um, the project I did, what could have been double-sided, the first thing I said was, I don't do double sides. <laughs> I just, I, I don't do them. All these surfaces I have like all the money I could save. I just, I just don't do double sides, but that's why they're there. You should use the double sides. All right, I'm gonna close this up, but I think I'm gonna add some of those green leaves. All right, let me. Oh, how I got so much on there. I bet she loved it. Is she putting it outside or inside? Doreen made a porch leaner that was double-sided and it was one of the prettiest porch leaners I've seen. I bet you do, Becky, a twofer <laughs> outside on our porch. It's 
It's going to be very, very welcoming. Oh, you know what? I'm going to keep that pesto out because I'm going to use it. All right, let me close up the ones I'm not going to use. You're going to have other family members who are going to want you to do that, Doreen. You know that, right? You know you started something. Kim, stop buying things. You can make this, although you can buy it too. But Kim, you can so make this. You know you can. Well, Doreen, I'm gonna tell you this again. You should have your own workshop, girlfriend. Create a little workshop for them. Yeah, that's, that happened, oh. I know, Marilyn. I feel your pain, Marilyn. Um, so in the garage, in our garage, in the house that we just sold, as well as the house that we're building, I have professional um, cabinets installed, wooden cabinets. Um, and that house, that does store a lot of my stuff for me. Doreen. <laughs> Doreen, what did you say to yourself? All right, I'm gonna, because I just washed this and it's still not fully dry and I wanna use it again, with cold air, I'm just gonna dry it. you never doubted yourself. All right, let's add this little filigree on there. I think it'll be pretty. I didn't plan on doing this. So let's see where I want it. I'm just eyeing this. Just never know what other pieces you're gonna put on. All right. Woo! That, that would have gone all over me. Is that OCD stuff? <laughs> Did you? I do go through a lot of Q-tips, but I buy mine in bulk from Amazon because I, I know I've given you the link to these, the two pointy sides, they're my faves. All right, air bubbles out. And this will just bring your eyes up because there is pesto on that bottom line too. Just 
Scrape up the excess. Oh, I want to make sure I got it all. That one's good. That one's good. It's just way too good. All right, I think that looks but that looks nice. But when I was doing that, I saw something and I thought, am I gonna play with this? What was it? I can't find it, so it must not have been that big of a deal. See that? I can't even. I saw something and I can't even see it anymore. Oh, good. Oh. I love the DIY frames. I think there was something on this board. All right. I think that looks awesome, guys. We're not done. We are not done. Because we need handles on it, right? No bows on this one. Well, I'm doing a little bit of ribbon on the tag. Done with this. Why is it every time I use pesto? It used to be the black, and now when I use pesto, it ends up all over the place, and I don't know why. All right, we're gonna put handles on it. Remember my faves. Again, all these links for everything I'm using, including the handles, anything I use tonight, it'll all be in the VIP lounge later tonight. These are my favorites, guys. You know I use these a lot. Ten trays. What? So, um, I already pre-drilled the holes to put the handles on. Um, what was I going to say? Guys, um, speaking of trays, this, and I posted this over in the VIP lounge. You guys, do you remember this beautiful tray? Well, I'm giving these trays away over in the VIP lounge. Um, so if you want to know how you can get one of those trays, you need to head on over there, okay? Um, but it's funny, one of the pictures I did came up in my memories using that tray. Um, and it was a, um, 
a customer order. It was um, not something I did live. And when I saw that tray, I was like, oh my God, those trays. And then of course I'm like, where did you put the, oh, you know what? I need to go get more screws. Hold on. I only brought two screws with me. Hold on. Why well, I only brought two? It's beyond me. All right. So um, it came up in my feed, and I was like, "Oh my god, I remember that." Yes, that one was pretty too. I loved that Santa one. I did. Kim, I think you should. You love to craft. Let's chat, okay? Um, becoming a designer is awesome for so many reasons. Um, the discounts alone, right? So not only are the discounts well worth becoming a designer, the free product credit, um, you know, you receive a website. So your website would look just like my website. It's all maintained by corporate. You do not have to, um, you do not have to, I think I remember this from last time I used this. I need a screwdriver. I think the gun gets in my way. Um, you do not have to maintain any inventory. A lot of people become designers. To make pretty things and sell them right they don't want to build a team or anything like that um, some people um, rent out space so they make designs and then they put them in whatever space they rent out and they sell them like that um, when you know you do receive your website like i said that would look like mine and when family and friends place orders you receive commissions on their orders so it's crazy it, it, this company is unbelievable and i've said that so many times um you're never without anyone holding your hand through the process if that's what you want I can't believe these are going in because the head of this gun butts up against this. Which is why I'm stripping them. I'll finish it with my hand. done yet so I am gonna add this tag just for flair okay um, I had planned on putting it like this just off to the side but I don't want it to be in the way because I want to show you what I'm gonna do You know what, now that I see it, hold on guys. Yeah, see it looks nice like that. All right, and it can be cut off too.
Oh, Becky, thank you. Um, yeah, so, you know, I, I would love to chat with anybody who wants to become a designer. And there's so many uh, different reasons for wanting to become a designer. The starter kit you get is $99, but you receive $250 worth of product. And guys, it is awesome product. And actually, the reason why I've been telling you so much about July is because you have a chance to get your $100 back when you sign up in July. Um, which is crazy in itself. July is always a great month for people to join as designers. And when I say, and I know people um, like have trouble with the word designer. It's not um, like this is being a designer. Crafting is being a designer. You can call yourself a maker if you want to. Um, It's just a word that um, Chalkachar uses. All right, this is going to be pretty. Watch when I'm done with this. All right, we're not doing bows. We're just going to do some rag rolls, right? Kim's already calling it. You're so funny, Kim. All right. right. We're gonna use some pumpkin. Oh. So also, um, the pumpkin transfer that we're using for the pillar stand club. I'm not sure if you guys saw it. Look at that pumpkin down there. Do you know how cute that would look on tags too? So even though it's a little transfer, I always say this, it's little, but it's mighty. I think it's really, really, it's a cute transfer. Thank you for everyone who um, voted to do that one this month. And again, if you are gonna join us, please go to my website and, and purchase that transfer by the end of the, uh, uh, by midnight tonight, only because I really do have to order your free embellishments by tomorrow and get them ready and ship them out before I leave for vacation, okay? So we're kind of doing things just a little quicker than usual, but it all works out at the end, right? All right, so. Again, no rhyme or reason. We're just gonna add some color. I love the pillar stand. Becky, you need to do your own pillar stand club. You can do it, Becky. I think you would do great. Awesome, actually. I missed one anyways. Oh no. Oh no. I feel like that TikTok. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. All right, hold on. Hold on. Yeah. How about if I do it off the thing and then we'll put it back on? I don't know why I'm making this hotter than it needs to be. Oh, good. Thanks, Sherry. I, I didn't want her to miss out on it. I, I felt bad. Being new in the Pillar Stand Club, you kind of need a month or two to 
figure it all out. So I didn't want her to miss out on it. Thank you, Sherry. Let's do this again. These are these colors are perfect. They're like the colors, guys. Uh, let me do this. I kind of want that orange to kind of show up front. All right. Cut this on this side. little glue dot on it too. I'll show you why. So stinking cute, right? Yay! Oh, oh Doreen! Doreen! Ugh, that just turned my stomach because I have done that. Wait. Oh. Oh, haven't we? I think we've all done that, haven't we? And I watch these cooking shows and I'm like, Oh, I'm like screaming, screaming at them. Take a couple of pieces and give it a little bow cut. All right, guys. So I'm gonna show you this two ways, okay? We have one more. You guys need to, I had another project for tonight. I can do it tomorrow night though, if you want me to. This one was kind of long. Oh, thank you. All right, so here's our tray, okay? So you can use it as decor because these do, I'm off to the wrong side. You know, they stand, they will stand for you, okay? I know it's messy. Um, but you can also spray this with polycrylic spray, okay? And I will, I, I've given you all this information, but if you need it again, just let me know. So you can do that. You can spray it, okay? And then like when people come over, you can then decorate it. I don't, I didn't bring everything, but the one thing I did want to show you is, okay, this is from the kits, right? So look at this guys. I, I can't do it backwards. Hold on. Look at this. Hold on. So if you bought a kit or if you haven't, you might want to because you can also, oh, now it's gonna, you can put the kit on it, right? I just burnt my arm with my glue gun. Um, like you can make it look pretty. Maybe this side, can't see, I'm backwards. Is this in the wrong way? 
Can you guys see? I, I burnt myself. All right, so that, can you see it, guys? I'm sorry. It's like there's too much on here. Rid of some stuff so you can see. Hold on. It's easy to take things off. Okay, can you see it better now? So you can display, you know, this can display this can become like a coffee table a coffee um, coffee table tray okay um, you definitely can use it or you can take everything off and just use it as pretty as it was like a tray look how pretty guys so that was our E size transfer. That is our biggest size transfer. And I used it on such a smaller board. What do you think? Tell me what you think, what you really, really think. Yes, cocktail ottoman. Actually, more people have cocktail ottomans now than coffee tables. So, no, so, no, because I'm being careful. But what I'm gonna do is I am actually going to put a spray sealer on it. I gotta do that outside. Um, because then you can do it. If I wasn't gonna put anything on this, I would, would not even um, spray it. If I was just gonna use it as decor, I wouldn't put anything on it. Um, this really, it's not gonna, it won't scrape like it would on a chalkboard because it's wood. And it is dry, guys. This is not coming off, okay? Um, but if you plan on putting something on it, I would definitely go ahead and spray it, okay? You would wanna spray it if you're going to use it as a tray. You would wanna use the polycrylic spray. Um, and I always do a thin coat horizontally and then I do a thin coat vertically like about 30 seconds each, okay? I let the first coat dry, and then I come back and do the second coat, okay? Marilyn, thank you. Um, and this is our reclaimed wood palette, okay? These were never meant to be trays. But look at that. And if you don't put handles on them, Doreen, you can use the other side for something else. So you can make a fall tray, and then you can use the other side and put something Christmassy on it. So it is a double-sided tray, people. Well, it's not a tray. It's a double-sided board. Okay? All right. Does right. I'm going to not do the second project tonight just because that entails a lot. I was doing a floral greenery, really. So we'll save that for tomorrow. Um, but do you have any questions? I've caught, I will bring, I will take pictures, okay? Look at the handles. Aren't those handles awesome? It's so quiet when Terry's not around. So quiet. Flip the tray over and it can be a stand. Well, you can also do something vertically, you know. You can do, oh, not that side. You can do something vertically, too, all the time. All right. And, thanks, Becky. Any questions? And, of course, you don't have to do the tag. I wanted to do the tag because I wanted to put those um, fall colors in there without putting it on the handle. But you do not need to do a tag. I love the handles. Yeah, I, um, so every time I make a tray and I use these handles, I swear they sell out because I give you all the numbers and then everybody's like, Shh, you order them and then they're sold out and then they come back. So 
Um, I will go ahead and I will post everything in the VIP lounge later tonight. Um, if you have any questions, please, please, please message me. And yes, Kim, anybody, if you want to become a designer, please, please, please let me know. Um, I, I will definitely point you in the right direction. I always say there's three reasons to become a designer. One is just for discounts alone. You get a 40% discount on all product all the time, okay? And that's just making pretty things for yourself, for family and friends. And then there are crafters who are in it for um, business. They want to make pretty things and sell them, whether or not they sell them on Facebook Marketplace, they sell them on Etsy, they sell them you know, in a retail environment, some type of marketplace, um, mercantile. Once you make, like I can sell this for anything I want. Nobody puts a price on this except for me, okay? So a lot of people become designers to make things and then turn around and sell them, okay? And then the third reason is like myself. I love building a team. I love design having designers on my team. I love being able to go to convention. I love that I've gotten to the point where I'm a leader and I can go to leadership. And of course there's trips and, it, and chocolate chair holds your hand through it all. No matter which of these three avenues you wanna take, chocolate chair will hold your hand through the whole, well, I will too. Um, so yes, please. And July is one of the best months to become a designer. First of all, our new kit is awesome. You are given a chance to get your $100 back. Um, and stop making money by crafting, if that's what you like to do. Okay? All right. Um, if you have any questions, please just message me. Remember, Pillar Stand, ordered by midnight tonight. Um, Club Couture, you can still get the cherries transfer, but the new transfer, August 1st, you know, changes over the first of every month. Okay, so if you really want those cherries, you gotta order that transfer. You gotta become a club member in July. Um, and I think that's it, okay? All right, everything will be in the VIP lounge, okay? Thank you, everyone, love to all. Have a great rest of your night, okay? Share the love, bye.